Hey everybody, today we're going to go over meta fields in a little bit more depth. Yesterday we did a little bit of touch on meta fields when we talked about keywords and how to add them to your Shopify product pages. Today what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to show how you can use meta fields in, to add, in order to add specific content to each product page. So if you have a product that has a specific uh, piece of information that is required just for that product and you don't want to have it show up on every single product page, meta fields is what you're going to use in order to do that. So let's jump into that. So yesterday we talked a little bit about meta fields and how they can be used in order to add keywords to your product pages. I'm going to go into a little bit more depth today about how meta fields are used for other reasons and how they're you leveraged inside Shopify in order to give you the most amount of flexibility with your product pages and your, your actual pages and some of your collections and blog posts and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by giving you a quick demo on uh, adding meta field expandability to your site. Then when we're done that, I'm going to go over some of the apps that you can use in order to make managing these meta fields a little bit easier. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to be using Shopify FD to access my um, meta fields. And then near the end of the video, I will show you how to use meta fields, the uh, meta field two, the app that allows you to uh, to visually see all the meta fields that are inside your store and very quickly go and export them and import them as you need. So the first thing we're going to do is let's have a look at our product page here. Um, we've got this uh, double flap lambskin leather shoulder bag that we were using yesterday and I actually want to change uh, the shipping information for uh, this uh, product specifically. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change uh, the shipping um, inside meta fields instead of just changing it inside the description. So in here we have our descriptions laid out, uh, but as you can see there is no shipping in there. If we go into the theme itself, and if we go in and edit the theme, let's go and edit the code here, and we drill in to try and find that specific item. So we're going to go to product, because this is the product page, and now we can see that it includes a section. So then we can drill farther into the sections, and we can go to product section, and it pulls up the product section. Now we can have a look through here and see if anywhere in here um, includes uh, the shipping information, but we can see that it actually includes a snippet now, which is called product. So we can drill farther even down, and we can go to product uh, snippet. Now you'll find this as a commonality in a lot of themes, is that they'll include uh, they'll have includes inside, includes inside, includes, uh, without any code on them. So like, for example, product is only including the section, and then the product section is only including the product liquid, and then when you get the product liquid is where you get your code. So you have to drill into it in order to find it. Now, um, when we start off, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look down here for our shipping items. Now, I can go and search for shipping and I can pull it up. Now the shipping, two shipping items that we have in here right now is if a product tag contains supplier, it's gonna show us one type of shipping, and if it doesn't, it's gonna show us a different type of shipping. But what we wanna do is we actually wanna change this so that it works off of meta fields. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go and create a meta field so that we can pull it out on this page. So on the uh, product page, so let's just open this up in a new tab here. Let's go to products and then let's go to that product that we were working on and let's go and load our uh, Shopify FD here and let's go and create a new meta field. So this is going to be a global meta field because we want it available everywhere. Now we only have these three items here. We want to actually create a new key um, and this is going to be called shipping. And the shipping that we're going to have is we're going to have free shipping, free two day shipping is what we're going to write in as the value because this is what we want to show up on our product page underneath shipping for this specific product. So if we go in here, oh sorry, wrong page here, and we save this meta field, we can see we now have a global meta field for shipping. We need to now pull this out in the template. So there's a little bit of review of what we did yesterday. So um, for here, we have our previous if contains show this snippet um, if else contains this snippet. What we're going to do is we are going to add underneath it product.metafield.global.shipping. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull our information from the meta field rather than from the product descriptions or the sections as we have above. 
So then what we can do is we can actually just write out product.metafield.global.shipping. And when we save that, so it's important to make sure that you add the meta fields, it's plural, <coughs> not singular. So products.metafields.global.shipping. Once we have that in there and we go over to the page and refresh it, we'll see the two day free shipping has shown up. Now this is just placed in um, free day two shipping. Now if we want to style it a little bit, we can put a little bit of HTML around it. So let's go and put a paragraph tag around it and save it. Now that's a little bit of review of what we went over yesterday when we were talking about adding keywords into meta fields. No problem. But now what we want to do is we want to actually go and populate all the meta fields for all of our products. And the tricky thing is it's very time consuming to go to product, go to the specific product that you want to add your meta field to, load up Shopify FD, go and create the namespace and go and do all of the, all the work involved. So go namespace, then once you've got it in here, go and create the value, all that sort of stuff. Too, too much work. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to install an app, and this app is called Metafields 2. Now I've alluded to this a few times, but this specific app allows you to modify all of the Metafields in your entire store with a really easy interface. So if we go to Metafields 2, oh sorry, let's just change this here. Let's just search Metafields. Metafields Plus, where's Metafields 2? They may have rebranded it. There it is, Metafields 2. Okay, so if we click on Metafields 2, it comes up with add the extra data fields you need wherever you need them. You can hit add app, it will load up. Now you'll need to have billing information set up in order to install an app, but once you have that set up, it's going to take you over to this Metafields 2 uh, page. And what it will do is it will start pulling in all of your products and looking at all of the Metafields inside them. So let me walk you through what we have here. So if we click on products, once Metafields has finished scanning all of your products and it's synced all of the resources between Shopify and its dashboard, um, right now as you can see the variants are still going through. I have a number of products in this demo store. You can go into the specific product and then what you can do is you can expand that product and it's going to show you what the meta fields that are filled out for those individual pieces are. So for the first one, we can see I've filled in uh, free shipping. If I wanted to change it for the, say, the, the quilted land skin, I could go uh, free uh, US shipping if that's potentially something that I wanted to do. So I can save that on the, uh, the other one. So as you can see, they have different values that are set up. So when we pull them up on the website now, because we've now gone and changed the code to match it, so let's go and pull them up here. So here's the second one. We can go and view. We scroll down to shipping. We see we have free US shipping. So now what we can do is we can add our own individual meta fields to individual products uh, using an app that makes it very easy for us to go through and quickly go and change them all. So you can go in and you can go and change um, each individual one in a table-like format, making it very easy for you to modify the meta fields. Now through meta fields, you can actually add additional meta fields. So you don't even have to use the Shopify FD in order to add the meta field. You can go straight into configure you can go to your products, and when you configure your products, you can add the namespace, the key, the type, whether it's a string or an integer, and you can give it a description so that people know what it is. So that is essentially how you use meta fields in order to manage all of your additional data that you want to put inside of Shopify. Now, um, if you're working with a Shopify expert, usually they will want to store this additional uh, data inside meta fields. Um, it makes it really easy to expand your product pages beyond what Shopify originally just gives you. Thanks everybody for coming by and checking out the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell button if you want to get some notifications. And we'll see you in the next one.